Local artists are opening their doors to the public for a behind-the-scenes viewing experience. For this week's In Focus, Sarah Winkleman visited some of the stops on the Fiber Arts Trail. And it's not a super fast process, but you can see that the wool is holding, holding its shape. Lisa Jordan from the Crossing Arts Alliance explains how she goes about felting by taking a piece of wool and hitting it over and over with a needle. That is after she hand dyes the wool and blends the colors together. Exciting to see that these natural materials, largely natural materials, can be used in such a wide variety of ways. I think on the trail you'll see felting, you'll see quilts, you'll see uh, barn quilts and the like, and it's just a really fun, eye-opening experience for people who may not be aware. The Fiber Arts Trail includes a stop visiting Lisa's felt work in downtown Brainerd and in Baxter, Cherrywood Fabrics. In addition to a demonstration and tour of the facilities, guests on the Fiber Arts Trail get a sneak peek at this year's Cherrywood Challenge collection. Over 450 people from across the world participated and started with the same fabric, theme, and size restrictions, but were able to add their own creativity. Hand quilting, machine quilting, applique, piecing, painting, beading is just amazing. A display that demonstrates the power of art correlation between fabric and art and how that you know it's pretty much seamless that this is art I mean this belongs in a gallery a shift that founders of the Midwest Art Trail recognized a few years ago it really moved past grandma's quilts and grandma's knitting into the art world art that encourages lifelong learning for everyone being inspired by other people stimulates your own creativity um, and gives you ideas of how you can do things, um, helps you think about the possibilities. Whether you want to get in on the action or admire from afar. Truly exceptional, beautiful work, works of art. For this week's In Focus, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The Fiber Arts Trail runs all year long with special demonstrations at the local art shops continuing tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.